Hey guys, Logi Sanchez and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys a loot cave that has been discovered in D4. And it's just, you can easily farm tons of legendaries with this. As many as you want, as long as you want, you can farm gold with it. And you can even farm blue and yellow, all the resources, everything you want and desire. I did actually come across a video on YouTube by Vampir11. I'll leave his link down below. So credits to him and shout out to him. I don't know if he actually found this first, but I felt this is where I found it from him. So shout out to him. And let me share with you guys how this actually works in the background and all that you have to do. But before I get into that, if you guys could go ahead and smash the sub and like button, it helps me out so much. And I appreciate every single one of you beautiful people. Now without further ado, let's hop into the loot cave now, shall we? So where is this loot cave? As you can see in the background, Dead Man's Dredge. It's right over here on the map, bottom right corner of Fractured Peaks pretty much. You can just take this bottle of here, Yelisni, Yelisna, I can't say that properly, but anyway, you take it there. And it's right there, Dead Man Dredge. You come in here, you run through, and you need to fill up the Animus thingy. So that pretty much just have to kill elites with the Animus stuff. You pick up the Animus, and then it opens the first gate. You go through, and then you just go and kill all the stuff there. And you have to free seven prisoners' souls or remains or whatever you end up finding of them. So you run on through, you clear it out. And you pretty much just run this dungeon on repeat over and over. It's so easy. The layout is pretty straightforward. It's not like nothing fancy like that. You can see all these legendaries down here. This is all the ones that I actually found from doing a couple of runs. I think I did about seven runs. One run I got two legendaries. Another run I actually didn't get any legendary. But every other run I got one legendary. So it equals out to about one to two legendaries per run. Obviously if you don't get any on the one run. You get two on the other run. Then it equals out. So I would say at least one legendary per run. That's usually what I average at. And then look at all my gold down here. This is actually from picking up the yellows and the blues and then selling them over at a vendor. And an easy way to reset the dungeon is once you're done with the dungeon, all you got to do is you can go back to town. But make sure that you are outside the dungeon because if you go back to town while you're inside the dungeon, it won't actually reset. So usually by the time you finish it off and your bag is full, what you should do, you open your map and then you click over here leave. And it's going to actually teleport you outside the dungeon. And then once you're outside the dungeon, then you teleport to town by pressing T. You go sell off all your stuff or dismantle it if you want materials or just stash it all. And then you just come on back. And by the time you come back, it will have reset. Or if you actually don't want to pick up yellows and you're only after the legendaries, what you can do then is you just come outside the dungeon and then you just press J. You click reset dungeons and that resets the dungeon and you can go back in and do it all over again. Farm as much as you want to your heart's content. Good luck with all the legendaries out there guys. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please drop a like and a sub. Helps me out so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hoggy saying out. Run free and dive into the sky. Hear the 